Today I want to show you the new functionality in Solid Genius 2008 in the coming version, which is called the Favorites. To the Favorites menu we can add parts from operating system, like package files, or we can add parts from model manager or work manager, as well as model manager or work manager assemblies. When you first install Solid Genius 2008, your Favorites is empty, so there is no part inside. Today I want to show you how to add parts from operating system and from model manager. To add a part, the part should already exist as a package file. So I'll just go and load, for example, a part from the Windows. To add this part, we simply go and to the modification menu, say add part to the favorites, select the part, and select the option load as package file, give it a menu title, automatically it comes like the part base name, and select the package file to load and if you wish so you can make a picture I will do one now okay and say hit yes so now this part is added to my favorites second one I will do as well I load a part from operating system maybe this cold form package here we go and I will do the same thing, modify, select the part, load the package file, menu title will be in this case C prof. I select the package file to load and take a photo. Okay. OK and hit OK button. Now we got two parts in my favorites menu. Now I will show you how to add uh, two more parts, this time from the model manager. To add from the model manager, just pop up the model manager workspace. First I will take an assembly. For example, this, here we go, we have some assembly plate. I load it. I can close my favorite parts as well. So this assembly consists of many different parts, as you see. Uh, I will save it into my favorites menu by doing the same thing again. Modify part assembly, select the part. Sorry, I have, in this case I have to select the assembly. Assembly. Load from model manager. I will give a menu title. For example, screwed. Screwed, and to give the model manager name, uh, I can give you a, a hint. You can simply go to the workspace and select the line. One more time, click it to unselect it, because we want to get the the name. Keep the name as selected. Right click, say copy. Come here, one time click to delete the old one, and say paste. Let's take a picture. Again. Say OK. And here we go. It's in the favorites already. The next thing I will do is take another part from the from the workspace. I will take for example this screwed assembly uh, nut and bolt. It, it comes. Now we go to the modify menu again, select the part assembly, select this part, select the option load from model manager, menu title will be SC1 and for getting the work manager name I will do the same. Open the workspace, select the line, one more time click it, it gets unselected and right click the name, copy, one time hit the delete and put this paste button here. Take a photo if you wish so. Okay, here we go. So we got here four parts. 
I want to add a last one because we need that for our uh, example. The last one will be another part from Work Manager. Uh, sorry, from Model Manager. Go to the workspace and find this. Oh, here we we got the C profile. Okay. So I have to load one from the operating system rectangular profile. Here we go. This one I want to save as well. Modify part assembly. Select this one. A package file. The title will be rectangular profile. The package file will be this one. And I want to take a photo as the profile picture view by face. Say OK. And I say OK. Alright, now we got five parts in my in my favorites menu. Now I will do a uh, small assembly to show you how we can use in this case I will mix operating system files with model manager files. I will also reposition uh, parts to each other. Alright, I delete everything and we start. You can pop up all at any time your favorites menu by selecting the show button. Stays on top of the uh, viewport. First I select the support part. It's loaded from operating system. And if I don't do anything, just simply click the uh, OK button. The part will be loaded as it comes from operating system. Here we go. Now I want to position here two uh, bolts and screws. This will be this screw assembly. This is now loaded from model manager and I can see the origin at the moment is in, in the middle. I want to change it by giving here new origin which is the middle point here. My Z direction looks up and actually extraction doesn't matter because it's like a cylindrical part and it can rotate it. My target origin will be in the middle of this hole but I cannot select anything there so I will use a tactic, a trick. I will simply select the middle point of this line as origin and set the Z direction again up and the X will be in this case this one. Now I can simply uh, push the, I can stay in the menu, say position and just use the positioning menu to position the part in the middle. Accept. I continue and say I want to position another one here. Origin will be again the middle point. The Z direction will be up and the X will be in this case here. The part will be automatically shared. I say position dynamically this line and select into position except here we go so we got this two screwed position correctly in the second step I will position uh, this screwed uh, part here I go and I want to again reselect my reference point on the origin in this case this reference point will be source reference point will be center point of this washer and my Z direction will look out and this direction is this way which comes on the part on this point Z direction and X this way here we go. So I've just pos repositioned it, but I want to do a little change by saying position dynamically. I select this option and move the part in this position. I say OK. All right. Now we continue with our assembly. I want to put this C profile here. Uh, I will use the option 
on the source part I want to I don't want I cannot select any point because the point will be in the middle I simply say face center select this face automatically the center is taken as x direction I can take this direction and on the source part again I select face center as face center I select this face Z direction will look down my X will be the same as you see uh, these two parts come on top of each other I have to make the little correction to make a line and say I have to mate mate this face take the support away this face to that one okay and I want to move accept reposition dynamically take my part a little bit out here we go as the last part I want to put this rectangular profile on the C profile go to rectangular profile this will be very easy because just simply say source face center here extraction here comes face center here extraction the same way the part comes and now I continue just simply by dynamically positioning it accept here we go so my small assembly is finished I've used uh, different options if you want to uh, for example put parts on top of each other this is in this case very easy just uh, select this the option face center select the face the X direction will be in this case for example here sorry select this face and the X direction will be here and here we go say face center again select this one same X direction the parts are positioned you can rotate 90 degrees alright if your parts get more uh, you will need a menu structure it means that you need some sub menus and we can do it as well we can organize our favorites for doing this go to modify say show tree view uh, it pops up on the left hand side you see your parts on the right hand side you see the structure at the moment we don't have any structure so I simply go and say top menu add a sub menu the sub menu I will call profiles I take the rectangular profile just drag and drop C profile drag and drop like in the structure browser and I would like to make another menu called screws and I take my screwed assemblies here inside okay and by hitting the save button automatically my menu has updated now I get the support part under profiles I get two profiles and under screwed assemblies I get two screwed assemblies you can make as many sub menus as you want there is no limit uh, for cascading the sub menus you can also add menu icons or menu pictures to sub menus for doing this just simply open the tree view again go to the menu right click it and say add image file I select for example one menu image one and you see here just a little camera picture it says that there's, there's image file already and we can add image file menu picture 2 okay and so I've added uh, the two uh, menus and just simply hit ok and as you see 
now we got this menu pictures for profiles and another menu picture for school assemblies you can have as many sub menus as you want and it will automatically be created thank you very much